out there. Welcome to Ella J. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get if you come to Ella J. Hey, Ella J, a mighty fine place to be. You 
you guessed it, today is going to be about, we're, we're kind of previewing what's going to happen in about a week because Astrid's coming to town and the boss is coming back and I'm going to have to straighten up and act like somebody because he's going to be here. And oh my goodness, you're going to get to see up close and personal a little bit of Mr. Ella J. You're also going to get to hear some new music. You're going to get to meet Astrid. It's going to be a really cool week, so we are priming up and prepping up for that. I tell you what you better get ready for, Jasper. You better get ready for Jeep Fest. Jeep Fest is coming once again to Pickens County. It draws thousands and thousands of people. It brings in many, many, many dollars. And thank you, thank you, thank you to our Sheriff Donnie Craig for creating this event that brings in so much money to help so many local people. And it really, really does. So this weekend, be nice, have your best manners on, be sweet, doesn't matter what traffic does, doesn't matter what's going on, all the restaurants will be busy, everybody will be busy. And I'm just gonna throw this out there at y'all. This week, I bought gas for 321. Then I bought gas for $3.29. And this morning, my favorite place to purchase gas was $3.59. And I said, I ain't a doing it. I'll just sit at the house till it comes down again because it went up because of the hurricane. Well, you're going to get to see some photos where I went up and wild and crazy because of another Florida hurricane. Thank goodness there were sadly a few fatalities from the hurricane, not directly, but from a tree hitting somebody and then from an automobile accident. But this hurricane could have been much, much worse. The one that came through last year when we were shooting a heart of the home, we haven't shown y'all these crazy pictures. We had to stop the shoot. We had to move everything inside. We had to totally change it. And that was the day that it really tested my patience because I had worked hard to do it exactly like I wanted to outside. It was five days after the hurricane had left Florida. Little did we know it was gonna land its evil self right on top of us, and it did. So we're gonna share some of those photos with you. Today is going to be a day of honoring Mr. Ella J because I have primed him up to come back with Miss Astrid after he has spent months and months and months in the studio. He finally let me hear and see all the stuff that he's been working on and he's very, very excited to tell y'all that he's gonna release the CD. It is a single CD of Welcome to Ella J. Well, immediately I shot him in the foot and I said, you cannot use the picture you chose. That's not representing Ella J. And he said, yes it is. And I said, no it's not. Now don't you love that hairdo? That's when the hurricane came through. And my hair just went to the heck in a handbasket, so. It was a wild, wild day, but it was one of those things that it happened and we had to deal with it, and it just happened. Well, uh, it was crazy. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. We have a crazy time going on with the weather today. It is absolutely gorgeous where we are. It is not so pretty where other people are still in the path of the hurricane that came through. It is wild, it is weird, it is, it, thank goodness it wasn't as bad as they thought it was gonna be. It was downgraded to a tropical storm, which is much, much better. But you can see, it was a day. We had to hot glue the tablecloth to the table. We had to do some crazy stuff. And we had to move everything inside because of that silly storm. Now Miss Margie came and Miss Margie actually did a song with Dwight. Y'all will never get to hear it because he wouldn't let us because it wasn't perfect because the wind was blowing like crazy. I don't know if y'all have figured him out yet or not, but he's one of these perfectionists that he wants it to be like he wants it to be and you just have to suck it up and work with him till he gets it there. So. You're gonna get to see him. We're really, really excited for the project he's been working on. And I think it's great that he's releasing Welcome to Ella J as a single. I think it'd be a really neat gift to put in gift baskets if you're doing gift baskets for people who are just moving to the area. And I told him, I said, you can't use the picture you chose. It doesn't depict Ella J. It depicts a little old cabin downtown that doesn't depict Ella J. You need the mountains, you need something beautiful. You need the kale house. And he said, what's the kale house? And I said, what? 
I thought you were from around here. And he said, well, I've always lived here. And I said, well, you don't know what the Kell House is? I want to know how many of y'all have gone out board town and as you cross the bridge, you look to your left and you see the beautiful historical Kell House. I love it. I have taken pictures there in front of friends. I've taken pictures there of the rocks that are on the rockway. I've taken pictures of cars in front of that house. I love that place. He didn't know what I was talking about. What is he thinking? He's lived here all his life and he didn't know what it was. So I said, well, get in your car and go out there. And I reckon he did. So he knows now what the Kell House is. Get out in your little community today. It's a beautiful day. Find something that you have not seen before. And today we're going to share a whole lot of photos with y'all. We've gone to the creeks, we've gone to the back roads, we've gone to a lot of places. And I want to share some of this with y'all. This is God's gift to us. If you live in this area, if you can get to Fort Mountain in 15 minutes and take a picnic lunch, what a wonderful way to spend today. The weather is beautiful, the sky is bright and blue, and you can do it. You can do it. And if you're smart, you'll stay out of Jasper for a little bit because the traffic's already starting to back up with Jeep Fest. It's much, much better to be welcoming folks to LJ this weekend because Jasper is welcoming everybody who's got a Jeep to Jasper. So y'all have got it made this weekend. We're gonna share some photos. I've chosen country cooking, country living, old home places, mountain scenes, some beautiful creeks. There's so much to see in Gilmer County, Georgia. It's not just about the apples, although I am a huge fan of apple cake. And I can tell you, I used to make one for years and years and years. I made one for Mr. Lamar Harris down at Harris Lumber Company. And I tasted one the other night that reminded me a whole lot of it. And I know now why I quit making them because they are obsessive, great, and you just want to have it every day. And you can't do that because it might have a few calories in it, but boy, it sure is good. And I can tell you all the apple houses are gearing up for a big season. So get out and get to know our apples. Now that's pear preserves that I made. Love old timey pears. Get out. If you see any old timey pear trees, get them out. That's pear relish that I made. And there's something about being in the country. You want to cook. You want to teach people. Now that is on top of Fort Mountain. Now that is a picture. That's our trivia question. Where do you think that picture was taken? Was it in Gilmer County? Was it in Fannin County? Where was that picture taken? Mm, neither of those places. And tonight on Facebook, I'm gonna play a game and I'm gonna give away a couple of CDs. If you can tell me where you think those photos might have been taken. The one before it and that one right there. That is my spot in the world to fall in love. It is just the most beautiful place. And this is down on Old Highway 5 in Gilmer County. And it is one of those things that you just pull by there, you spend a little time, you enjoy the scenery, you enjoy the flowers, take your family and then go out and have a great, great lunch. And that is something I cooked. And honestly, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's not good if I don't recognize my own cooking. What is that? I'll have to study on that picture. Oh, it's the top of a, oh, okay, it's top of a cake. Okay, this is when we cooked outside. And to be quite honest, y'all, I almost burned the house down that day. It was so funny because I was trying to cook in two different places at one time and the frying pan got a little dry, so. But it was a fun day. And, and it's about getting out, starting you a fire out in the yard, get you one of those old timey cookers and put you on a pot of beans and, and just, you know, just enjoy life. Now there's rutabagas, that's not my favorite thing. And there's my can filler. I don't know how many of these young ladies today even know what a can filler is, but there's something about fall approaching and getting you a pumpkin and cutting it up and baking it and making your pumpkin pies. There's just something about country living that we wanna share with everybody. And I think that this is the perfect week the skies today are almost as blue as they were over Fort Mountain. Now that is pear relish and that's how you do it. And you use the old timey pears. The old timey pears are on very few trees now. So you have to get out and go to old home places and hunt them down. 
but when you hunt them down, man, are they ever worth it. Now, this was the heart of the home we did that the wind cooperated with us, and it was a pretty good day, and it was one of my favorite shows we've ever done. It was just a lot of fun, and I loved cooking for the neighbors, and the neighbors all came in and ate. And then that is something. I've been sharing recipes in the Pickens County Progress, and I did the salmon patties a few weeks ago. And if you will get your paper every Thursday, I have a recipe in there and a little story that goes with the recipe. And the recipe that I use for salmon patties now is nothing like what I used to do. Now that is chicken. That is country fried chicken. That's pan fried in an orange skillet. How many of y'all still cook in your orange skillets? Well, I love them. I love them. I have one that I always do my cornbread in. And that is probably my favorite thing. White cut corn cream style, fried okra and sliced tomatoes to me is like a meal fit for a king. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. The okra's almost gone and it's time to do something else. Now this is when I started making that bacon relish and it is so good. I go to r &A Orchards and I buy hot pepper jelly and then I add bacon to it, and oh my gosh, it is so good. And you just stir it all up. I keep a little container in the fridge. You can use it on biscuits, you can do it on cornbread, you can uh, have it as a side item. It is so good. And it's just bacon crumbles and hot pepper jelly. Pretty simple, pretty yummy too. And don't forget when you're out visiting our local orchards, and the local gardens, you can can, you can freeze, you can preserve, and then this winter you'll have those memories of all that great food. Now that's a good picture. That's a neat picture. I don't know if that's a guitar he really, really likes or not, but you see those mountains, you see how blessed we are? That's 15 minutes from this studio. So get in your car today. You could pack a picnic lunch, or you could grab you a quick lunch over here at Mike's, or you could grab you a quick lunch going through the DQ or wherever. Grab you a quick lunch and go out across Fort Mountain today. The sky is absolutely incredible. The temperatures are perfect. And might even be a little breeze up there. So it's just a good, good day to go to Fort Mountain. And I hope y'all will take an opportunity to do that. I hate that the gas prices are what they are. They tell us it's because the hurricane came through. I don't fall for that. It's because it's a holiday weekend and they know that everybody's going to be driving. And so they're trying to get as much out of us as they can, and they're doing a good job. So, and it's not our local guys, it's these big guys. It's the government guys. I don't know who it is that decides this, but it's crazy. Now, there's that spoiled, rotten Mr. L.J. He's just about rotten, but y'all love him, and he'll be back, and you'll be excited because he's bringing new music. And he told me when I first met him, he said, oh, You'll be, you'll be disgusted with me in six months. And I said, why? And he said, I've just got that personality. <laughs> and I laughed. And uh, we are both pretty much alike. We're both opinionated, strong-headed, and uh, business-minded. And that's all we think about is what's the next business move. And that's, that's kind of how it is. It's what can we produce? What can we do? What can we add? And uh, he, loves, he loves editing. He does lo love doing music and uh, loves making a difference. And uh, you know that every year he does two events for your special friends here in Gilmer County. And uh, I think it's, it's time that we honor him because he does, he does do a lot for the community and uh, volunteers a lot of his time and donates the money he makes for any of the events to the special friends or to the Shriners Hospital. So I think that's pretty cool. Aren't those rocks beautiful? Now that's at Fort Mountain. That's at the entry of Fort Mountain. And if you haven't been there, if you're new to our community, please get out and go, just go up Highway 52 West. And there's that crazy hairdo. And I swear that day I was so discouraged because I'd worked so hard. And we were gonna cook steaks outside and we were gonna do this and this and this. Nothing worked out right. The wind just kept blowing and it was just crazy. And there wasn't a thing we could do about it. It was that hurricane that was five days late getting to us. So, but it is what it is. And uh, we've got tons and tons of footage that Tim's gonna be putting together as a video special with some music and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Lots of hours and lots of work and lots of energy went into all the things that you're going to get to see this fall and we're really excited about it because we got some great shots. 
today you're going to get to hear the, the creek, and this is Tails Creek, and if you have not had the opportunity, now let me tell you about that. I love when the grandbabies hold your hand when they're sleeping, and that is baby Zanna holding my hand when she's sleeping. She's hard to get to go to sleep, but baby Riker would sit and hold my hand the whole time he took a nap. Y'all, he's turning five years old next week, and it just blows my mind. He's not a little baby anymore. He's a big boy, and he's going to pre-K, and he loves it, and I'm so excited for him, but it's so sad to see him grow up so fast. So now that's the day that the wind was pretty crazy, and there wasn't a thing in the world we could do about it. It just got wild. So couldn't help it, didn't expect it, didn't think it was going to happen, and it just about got us. Now that is my favorite shot ever of a car. If you have not been out looking at the old bridges in our communities, that is up in the Dial community. I love going those back roads. Get out, take your old car, park on the bridge, get you some cool shots, and share it because it's really, really neat. Now that was probably one of the best salads I ever saw. And there's that old crazy M.H. Sanford. He's a mess. He's a mess. <laughs> There you go. And that was at the Apple Festival. So the Apple Festival is coming up soon. The apple orchards are open. And um, it, is, it is greatly, very important that we support our local businesses, all your local businesses. So this weekend, Labor Day is here. The mountains are going to be full of folks. Some little traffic issues will happen, I'm sure. But y'all get out and have a good, good time. Now we're going to share some music with you and some videos. And I want you to... I want you to listen to the rippling of the creek because if you haven't gone out on a back road and you haven't seen those amazing waters that are just so crystal clear and beautiful. Yesterday, Evelyn and I were out in West Gilmer County and we were on a road. It rained a whole lot. The creek was a little bit muddy, but we did get some good photos. But we're going to share you some now of footage. This is Tails Creek. And it's footage that Tim shot about a year ago. And it is absolutely incredible to get to sit on the side of this creek and just listen to the sound. Well, we will. 
It's a little bit early for them, don't you think? Shoot out the back glass right now. Okay, oh yeah. Smart man. Look at that. You're just so smart. Yeah, there's a reason. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> Big reason. God. I'm the boss over a one man crew. <laughs> Imagine boss. <laughs> oh, that creek is pretty. This is where me and Jack and I used to come and swim it. Coming up this road was going right there. Yeah. And Country roads come on the radio. And you couldn't wait to hear it. And I made him turn it up. <laughs> now you get annoyed because it gets requested a lot. Because it's people's favorite. It's a favorite. Did you know that? It's a favorite. It's a favorite. <laughs> it's a favorite. Yeah, it is. That's a pretty little place. So 52 West. You're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ballground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779.
Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third-generation race car driver, and we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. The ETC Game of the Week is back again this football season. Watch your local teams go head-to-head -head each week only on ETC TV3. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Also, it is time to tell you the news that uh, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting because I've been having this test and that test and this test and that test and another test and another blood draw and another test. Lots of testing. And now the results are all in and I took my bestie with me to make sure that I didn't fall apart when I got the news. And I didn't fall apart when I got the news because the news was much better than we thought it would be, which was really, really good. I have two little issues that we're still dealing with and have some more doctor's appointments coming up, but they're not the bad stuff. We hope there's nothing to do with the bad stuff. Have a couple of places that they're gonna do another biopsy on, but it has to do with the melanoma and we're gonna, anything that has to do with that, we're gonna catch it, get it, be done with it. I've declared that. But all the body scans came out good, except one on my brain, and it was so funny because I've always said, I wonder if I'll have a brain when they finish this. And I looked at the doctor and I said, do I have a brain? He said, yeah, you really do. <laughs> I said, thanks. And then he said, but there's this one little place. And he said, there's a vacancy. There's like this, this spot that is, it's missing something. And I said, what is it missing? And he said, there's nothing there. And I said, my mother would make jokes about that. My mother would laugh about that. And he said, I'm not sure why, but there's this little vacant spot. And I said, well, I can tell you what my mother would say. She would say, she's always had a hole in her head. She acts like it sometimes. And I said, well, what does this mean, doctor? And he said, I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. And I said, okay. But it's where a certain gland is that controls sometimes different things from hormones and different things. And I was laughing and I said, well, that kind of explains a lot of stuff. So because um, I don't get emotional like I used to and I don't cry like I used to. And I don't know, maybe I've just given up and said it ain't worth crying over. I don't know. But it's very weird. And I said, maybe that gland. And he said, basically, the, the space it's just blank now. And I said, I don't understand that. And he said, well, it's nothing to be concerned about. And I just laughed and said, okay, so basically I have a blank spot in my brain. He said, yes. I said, okay, I got it. So it is what it is. Everything was good. No, no, no apparent cancer anywhere else. 
Thank God. And um, we do go for one more biopsy because I do have two places that they're checking. And then I'm good to go. I predict, and Dwight Sanford said this, and it was mean, but it's, it's probably the truth. He said, the good die young and the mean live forever. So I'll probably be here forever. But um, speaking of the good dying young, this week has been a tough, tough week for Ball Ground, for Jasper. Kyridge went to be with Jesus. Ed Buchanan went to be with Jesus. Brent Bozeman went to be with Jesus. Too young, too soon, and good family guys, and it just is heartbreaking. We are seeing this every single day. Somebody was talking about that the other day and said the good really do, do, do die young. And he named several guys here in Gilmer County who were good guys, good Christian men, good family men, and they died too soon. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. So I'm telling you today, make the most of today, this day, every moment of this day, because we are not guaranteed another moment. And I think about it all the time. There have been so many close calls with traffic. I drive a lot. I'm on the road a lot. Crazy spots I get myself in. And I'm just so thankful that every morning you wake up and say, yeah, the sun came out today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to go to some music now. And uh, today is really about honoring Mr. Ella J. Because when he joined the group and came in here, immediately he and Donovan hit it off. And one of the things that I posted on Facebook the other day was Dwight and Donovan and it will forever be etched into my memory. I'm so thankful that we captured that because we had no idea that Donovan would be gone from us. We had no idea that he would join Jesus. We had no idea. And um, there are those moments that I look back and I'm so forever thankful for every moment of every, every one of you. I, I was thinking about Margie and Charlie and all the times I went to board town and visited with them and, and hugged them and loved them and, and missed them so much. There are just so many people that are gone from us. So a lot of this music makes you think about those people. I think it's great to reflect on and to remember that they are gone to a much, much better place. So we're going to share some music for you, and then we'll be I'll be back in just a few minutes.
supper time The shadows lengthen fast Come home, come home It's supper time We're going home at last That little music trio goes out to Miss Jen Berger for her birthday. She will be turning, <coughs> we won't say, on September the 3rd. So happy, happy birthday. And um, you t I, w I have a little saying I want to kind of throw out there. Jen worked in uh, at the Reagan at the Reagan administration, and she worked for the, for the you know, the I think he was one of the strongest, greatest presidents in the world, and he was just a guy. He was just a guy in the movies. He was just a guy. But this is something that reminds me of Jen and of my president, Ronald Reagan. Real leaders are ordinary people with extraordinary determination. I think that fits both of them, don't y'all? So happy, happy birthday coming out to Jen, who will be turning, <coughs> I'll just say she's older than me. She's not older than dirt. She might be older than mud, but she will be having a birthday on September the 3rd. And as she has battled cancer for a couple of years, lucky to be having that other birthday. So happy, happy birthday. Now, we're going we're gonna to share something with y'all now that um, I don't recommend doing this, but I can tell you there are so many of these back roads that I love. There are so many parts of Gilmer County that I love. But Boardtown is my favorite road. The Kale House is my favorite house. Get out today, go grab you something to eat, ride up to Fort Mountain, come back down to town, go out Boardtown. <clears throat> do not do it like we're about to do it right now. But this is one of my favorite Sunday drives and probably it's right up there with one of my favorite cars. Love my 66 Chevelles. 
loved the sound of the engines, loved the sound of that roar of that glass pack, and, and, and just the, it's just, it makes you feel good. So if you've got an old car, get it out today. Don't do anything illegal, don't do anything against the law, but you might ride it out board town. So here we go for a little trip out board town. Is my idea of a country road. We went by the Kell House, we went by Precious Farrell Starn's home, we went by, headed toward Charlie and Margie's house, and you talk about a great road in the fall. There's nothing any prettier than Boardtown Road. So make plans. Come in from Ella J and go Boardtown up toward Blue Ridge. Get off 515, get on the back roads, get out and learn a little bit about the communities that we serve. And if you are looking from Ball Ground to Turtle Town, you just never know what you might run into if you take a back road. It's just a lot of fun. And if you did a route that you really, really liked, you might write it down and do it again because it changes during the year from spring to fall. It looks totally different. So get out and enjoy these back roads. We're gonna end today with that song that made that man, Mr. Ella J. The day I met him, didn't have a clue who this old guy was. Didn't have a clue why I was doing this parade. Didn't have a clue why I'd taken the time to come to LJ. But it's been a lot of fun, and uh, I like the idea that we can get together and create something that y'all are enjoying. I have to tell you, he's not going to sell any more of the CDs that we have that he had already produced. He's remastering everything. 
So if you're waiting on me to deliver CDs, you're not gonna get those, you're gonna get newer ones because he's doing a whole new lot and it's gonna be really, really cool and he's gonna be really proud of it. And he will be proud of the cover because he's not using that shot that he chose in LJ. I I said, absolutely not. So we're gonna take him out to the cow house and hopefully get some pretty pictures there. Here we go as we leave you. Welcome to Ella J. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Ella J. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get if you come to Ella J. Hey, Ella J, a mighty fine place to be.
ahead, Chief. 